Some people think email marketing is old school. Sort of like that corded phone hanging on your kitchen wall or dial-up modem, right? Is that your thinking? Then if it is, you're missing out on a crucial opportunity to connect with potential leads and turn them into loyal customers. Really, and I mean really. Keep watching and I'm going to give you five surefire tips to capture more emails for your business. If this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Leslie Jean-Baptiste and I am your favorite affiliate marketer. Please hit the like and subscribe button as I provide valuable content to help you grow your business and to better understand digital and online marketing on a regular basis. Also, stay tuned till the end to get information about my million dollar challenge as I break it down into detail. Email marketing might not be new and it might not be the latest greatest thing, but that doesn't mean that you can afford to ignore it. And if it's been a while since you've revamped your email marketing strategies, it's time to make a change today. Here are five tips to help kick your lead generation into high gear and do it right away. Number one, micro targeting. Some marketers want to hang on to the one size fit all approach when it comes to lead generation. This is not a very smart way to do it. Though they've got a lead magnet that's been working for them at least to a point and they don't want to try anything new. They don't want to change anything. But here's the thing about that. Let me tell you something that you really need to know. Not every potential lead arrives at your site for the same reasons. Some may have been drawn by a specific piece of content. Others might be looking for a service or product to solve a problem they've been having. My point to you is this. It's far more effective to target people with an offer that's tailored to their interests. Someone who comes to your site because of an authority blog post is more likely to respond to a lead magnet that is related to the actual post. That's simple, but I'm always amazed by how many people don't understand this very simple concept. Dive into some audience research tailored to your lead magnets based on what you find and watch your subscription soar through the roof. You'll capture more emails and leads with these five sure strategies and I promise you. Number two, use pop-ups. I can hear you now. Your brain is like, no! What? People hate pop-ups. And what about pop-up blockers? It'll never work. I get it. Yes, I do. But let me tell you one thing. Here's one thing, and it's pop-ups are effective. In fact, they can hugely affect, be effective if you use them the right way. What I mean is this. A generic pop-up which interrupts someone while they're reading the first paragraph of your killer blog post is only going to be irritating and probably ignored, and that's true. But a pop-up that appears as the reader approaches the end of your blog post is a completely different story. This, like a pop-up that's triggered when a user hits the back button or tries to close the window, is ingenious. Why? Because these are triggered by behaviors. Research shows that using an exit pop-up can boost conversions by as much as 1,375%. That's crazy. Yes, I know, that's a crazy number. And if you know anything about conversions, you know that it's beyond impressive. The moral of the story here is that you shouldn't rule out pop-ups. The right kind of pop-up at the right time can reduce your bounce rate and help you get more subscriptions than you've ever thought possible before. So you want to focus on that. Number three, maximize the value of your lead magnets. We've already talked about lead magnets, but there's another angle I want to mention. The best lead magnets are those that are targeted directly at people who want to attract as leads 
offer massive value in return for something small, namely the user's name and email. And you provide a solution to the problem. Provide an actionable solution with content that they can take action on immediately. You don't need to give away a 100-page ebook anymore. Users want something that will benefit them right away. For that reason, I appreciate and recommend things like this. Cheat sheets, checklists, email courses, free tools, bundles, webinars, discounts. And of course, if you want, you can also offer a short guide or an ebook. I suggest keeping it under 15 pages and only using them if the topic is too complicated to explain in something shorter. The main point here is that a user should see your lead magnet and experience the fear of missing out if they don't act immediately. And if they aren't afraid, then they won't react. You want them to need it so much that they'll fork over their email to get it. Capture more email leads with these five surefire strategies. And let's get into number four, choose the right lead capture. There's more than one way to capture a lead, guys. Sure, you can go with the old tired and true web form, but think about it this way. Is that the best way? Is your regular methods aren't gathering options they once were? Here are a few alternatives you can consider. Do surveys and quizzes, live chats, contests and giveaways, chatbots, pop-up forms, especially exit forms. If you take a bit of trial and error to settle on the lead capture that works best, I suggest doing a bit of split testing to see what gets you the results that you're looking for. And always remember, what works for one page may not work for another. Number five, eliminate friction. Subscribing to your list should be easy and super duper easy. You probably know that there's research showing how every additional field added to an opt-in form decreases the conversion rate. For example, dropping the number of fields from five to four can increase your conversion rate by 50%. You should ask yourself, what information do I absolutely need to follow up with a lead? Can I collect additional information later? Does my form work on all browsers and devices? Which fields are responsible for the most bounces? You may also want to think about the design of your form in case you need help there. Anything you can do to make it easy to find, like using contrasting color, putting in a box, or drawing in an arrow pointing to it, has the potential to increase your conversions and generate more leads for your business. In conclusion, email marketing is the ideal way to nurture your leads and convince them to take the next step in buying your product or using your service. These five tips that I mentioned will help pull your lead generation from stagnation to a new height and help you in a new world of profits. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video and leave a comment for me if you'd like. Thank you and have a great day. Now that we're done, I'd like to tell you about my opportunity for you to make residual and passive income. In the description below, you will find a link. My number one recommended opportunity in order to generate passive income. Click on that link now and it will take you through a series of videos that will guide and help you to become a passive income earner like myself. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.